What's going on everybody? Welcome to Brick Hive. Thank you for joining me. I hope you're doing well and staying safe. I hope you're having a great day or night. Um, if you do like this channel, if you like my content, if you thought this video was pretty cool, you know, why don't you go ahead and give a custom slap on that like button. So LEGO is known, obviously, for their bricks. But in 1978, they made something that put them on a whole nother level and it has become an extreme part of collecting LEGO all the way up and even more so today. And that is the minifigure. In the beginning, minifigures were pretty simple, you know, um, then they got to be like knights and pirates, but eventually, and especially when they started the CMF line, they got really, really creative with their minifigs. And then of course, once you start throwing IPs in, then you got different Harry Potters and you got the different Star Wars. I've always said Ninjago makes really, really awesome uh, detailed minifigs. Then they really started getting wild, like making stuff from idea sets, everything from Back to the Future. We got Ghostbusters. Then when the Dimensions line came out, we got even more different types of uh, minifigs. You know, we got E.T. and Knight Rider, and all, just all kinds of stuff. Point is, the point is, the minifigs have become extremely collectible and really just a really awesome part of Lego. And then eventually we all started making sig fig. And if you're new, sig figs are basically signature figures. You know, you make one based off of yourself. As you can see, the one that I have has my logo on the chest, which leads me to the interesting topic I wanted to talk about as far as what you can put on a minifig. And, I, and when I mean what you can put on a minifig, that's exactly what I'm saying is what you can put on a minifig. Now, when I got out of my dark ages and really started getting into the Lego community, at first it was just Lego, but then eventually I started seeing a lot of custom stuff and the custom Lego world has blown up and it is really, really awesome. And I guess I should state before we go any further in the video that I love custom minifigs, custom bricks. I love all the military stuff. I'm getting ready to go buy a tank uh, at Brick World. So I don't know, maybe a tank, maybe a jet. I haven't decided yet, but probably a tank. But I just wanna make sure everybody understands I'm doing this video not because I am I'm, I'm, I don't like the custom stuff or I wanna get anybody in trouble. It's, it's nothing like that at all. I just have questions and I'm very curious how these things work out. And not just because I'm curious for just curiosity's sake, but I also am an artist and I have drawn things based off IPs. For instance, I've drawn some Star Wars helmets that are, you know, like hyper-realism type of artwork. You know, it's one of the things I really kind of excel at is hyper-realism portrait work, stuff like that. But the point is I went to sell them on one of the websites that you can go through and sell things on and all that. Yeah, they wouldn't let me sell it. So. That's not to say I'm trying to be salty for people that can sell this stuff. I'm just trying to figure out how things work. And I've never gotten a real clear answer about how other companies are able to do this. And honestly, it's not even just the Lego part. Different custom minifigs from movies, clones. Uh, that's a huge you know, thing in the Lego community is custom clones. And that's not just taking Lego minifigs and putting trademark stuff on it, but you're literally taking Star Wars IP you know, Disney and making your own stuff and making money off of it. And I understand that, you know, you can take some of these IPs and change them up slightly enough to where, you know, to where you can probably maybe fight it in court or maybe it's not worth their time trying to fight you in court about it. But, but some of it's clearly not, you know, as you can see from, you know, like for instance, I'm just taking a few examples that you can see across the screen, you know, uh, everything from Clone Army Customs making, you know, these minifigs to Brixie selling, you know, stickers and shirts that have them on them. I myself am selling uh, shirts and stickers that have, you know, sig figs on them. Then there's the whole military aspect, which not only just goes across what I'm talking about with Lego and taking minifigs and putting, you know, organizations on them, which we'll get to in a second, but also Lego is against war, you know? So they refuse to make some of that stuff. So well, why would they let their product be used in that manner? And I have some ideas, but you know, I really wanted to talk to somebody that, you know, might know a little bit more than me about it. So I decided to uh, interview Shy Time is my time 
because one, he's been in the military and he heavily collects military Lego, but also he's worked for Lego, you know, and he just has a really good insight on a lot of that type of stuff. And the reason that I'm making this video isn't just because of these questions that I had, but you know, in 2022, Lego made an official statement and basically saying, actually, don't even let me just say basically, let me just read what they said. In an interview, they said, customized Lego minifigures with printed third-party logos, names of organizations and trademarks are not allowed. It's not acceptable to use the registered minifigure trademark in any combination with third-party symbols. The ability of the minifigure to serve as a distinctive Lego brand symbol is reduced when a minifigure is also printed with the name, logo, symbol, or other representative of another entity. Left unchallenged, such use by third party entities could put our rights and the minifigure at risk and could eventually result in the loss of a company's exclusive rights. This is something that we cannot risk. Therefore, we must request that the community refrain from printing any third party logos, names of organizations, and trademarks onto LEGO minifigures and refrain from using, ordering, distributing and selling minifigures in such customized versions. So as you can see, they say they mean business. Lego also announced that they will be taking measures to protect their minifigure branding on what you can you can and cannot do to a minifigure. You know, this was announced by Lego's legal team, you know, like I said in 2022. Now, what would be repercussions of it? I, I don't know if any, I, I'm not 100% sure. Now, I also know that there's a lot of specifics, maybe, you know, uh, there's, I'm sure there's a lot of gray areas in some of these laws. So like I was saying, I wanted to interview somebody that I thought would have some good insight on it. And uh, again, I, I don't want to claim that him or I are lawyers. However, I just, like I said, I, I'm just spitting out my opinions and, and questions. And, uh, you know, I did a little bit of research, but it is, it is difficult, you know, and I almost feel like it, the way a lot of it is said that it can almost go to a case by case basis, you know, where, what, what, where are you selling the, the minifigs from? Is it the same, you know, what country, uh, what are you selling? You know, what are the minifigs? You know, it, there's just a lot of different specifics in it. So let's go ahead and check out that interview. I'm making a video, and you might already kind of know where I'm going to go with this, but I'm making a video on why it's okay for some things to be customized in Lego minifigs and other things are not. And if some things are legal or if they're not, or if Lego even cares, there's just basically two different avenues I'm going with this video, okay? One has to do with the three specific things that they brought up about not putting on a, on a minifigure. Um, a third party logo, anything that's trademarked or um, an organization. Now, the one aspect with the third party and the trademarks, I'm curious just your your opinion on it because one, you've worked for Lego. Two, you know Lego. Um, you're an intelligent guy and I really respect your opinions on things. It doesn't mean that I know you're gonna be exact or you might know trademark laws exactly because from my research that I've done on this, there's a lot of gray area and some, some, some stuff. And when it comes to Lego, I've still seen different opinions and Lego themselves don't even make exactly clear on everything, but it seems like you have to be ultra specific about things that you're going to do with Lego on selling things. And I want to make sure that I'm clear about that. It's for selling stuff, not for our own personal use, because I don't think Lego's going to care about any of that. Really? You know what I mean? They're not gonna put a cease and desist if I put on a, photo on an Instagram, like with my logo on, an, on, on a minifig, you know what I mean? They might, but, but yeah, but if I'm selling them, that's where a lot of these things lead into the questions that I have. Then we're going to get into the military stuff in a minute. And that's really heavily what I want to get your opinion on. But, but what, what do you think? Yeah. yeah. Trademark stuff. So when this whole custom minifigure like hit went out into the Lego space, I had some conversations with conversations with some people in the community that actually do custom work for the ogs in the custom lego world they weren't phased and i'm talking about like citizen brick brick mania some of those companies right there because mm -hmm. lego's done this before when they've kind of thrown it out there and nothing happened like to them now to what they told me i don't really know the laws behind trademark but they to, in order for a trademark to be legitimate they have to like enforce it in some you know some sense so that's just them throwing it out there like they're going to do something and they really just don't. So I'm not really familiar with that, but that's what they told me and they weren't really worried about any of it and nothing happened to them. 
this is where this can kind of split up into different things. And I'm, and I've made a disclaimer in the beginning of this video that I want everybody to understand. I don't want citizen brick or brick mania, or I don't want anybody to not be able to keep doing what they're doing. This is not what this video is about. This video is about me trying to understand how it's come clone army army customs can make trademark star wars stuff on lego minifigs and and get away with it. or how brick mania which we'll get to the military part in a minute how they can do some of the things that they do i don't i'm not you know dissing them or nothing like that it's just a pure understanding is because i understand some of these laws and trademark things are kind of fickle and I also understand that Lego does make money off of this stuff, clearly, because yeah, because you know, because Brickmania buys, yeah, Lego through Brickmania parts and Cologne yeah. Army Customs use real minifigs and stuff like that. So, um, so Lego's clearly making money off the stuff. You know what I mean? Yeah, Lego wins either way with any of like the third party stuff because mm. everyone still buys everything from Bricklink, so they're profiting from that. So, you know, during that during that whole Brick Bricklink buyout, yeah, that mm. was a smart decision because they benefit from it and oh yeah buy definitely it. definitely so i think the 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 cac the clone army customs i see a ticking time bomb with that one eventually because they're they're definitely use they're using actual you know lucasfilm lore stuff all that all that it's true it is definitely copyrighted somewhere <laughs> and no i i want to <laughs> put a little addendum to that as well that i don't know the business aspect of, of stuff they do um because I, I know a lot of people partner with disney and star wars and you i've even talked about this with you know people that i've been talking to on a business aspect of me doing my artwork and where i can get away with stuff and not get away with stuff and i've also been told like truthfully like legally like you can reach out to disney and stuff and get into a partnership and then they work out somebody reaches out to you and then they work out a percentage or whatever their cut would be so there's there's ways to do it and as long as you're not defacing star wars the chances mm -hmm. of them saying no are probably zero you know they, exactly. they want to make their money you know exactly so clearly you know a lot of these things um could be done in a way that i just don't know about we also don't know if like a company like clone Armor customs is actually paying disney we don't know that yeah yeah we don't they could be um but for the most part like that if if we were going to presume that they don't then yeah i think like if they were to do something bad or if disney actually got like was paying attention to that mm. then yeah maybe they might throw down the hammer but for the most part if disney doesn't know they're probably not going to say anything so someone's gonna have to rat them out for that to happen but and if how? they don't have but but the thing is like if they don't know they don't know I right. know, man. I'm like, how could, how could they not know? Like, you know, I don't know. Dis but Disney's eyes are more focused <laughs> on other things. Uh, you know what I mean? So like if, you know, they, they probably don't know how big that company is in the Lego world. Like they don't know. You know, and, and again, doing. more power to clonary customs. And, and mm -hmm. I'm just using them as an example because they're like one of the big guys. You know what I mean? No, um, I mean, they're using Star Wars and Star Wars is a tr is definitely licensed. And like for them to get away with that is, is questionable. That's why in my eyes, I'm like, maybe they are. And that's just do. Star Wars. That's just Star Wars. Yeah, but because, Star Wars but, is a big deal, but, it's Disney. Disney. But on Lego's Lego side of it, Star Wars is trademark. They're mm -hmm. putting trademark stuff on minifigs. And this is where I'm trying to get into where a lot of these little gray areas are. Because when I was researching a lot of this stuff, somebody brought up an example. And it was a good example, but I don't think it's quite parallel. But they brought up the example of you buy a Ford truck, okay? And let's say you have a business. Well, you're going to put you know, your business logo and stuff on that truck, right? But even if you want to move past that, let's talk about at least the company that put the art on the truck. You know what I mean? So it's not the best parallel and it doesn't match up completely, but I understand where the person was coming from with that point. It just seems like a lot of stuff is really kind of muddled. And I think Lego, I'm probably, like you said, Star Wars either doesn't, Disney doesn't really care enough or they don't know. And Lego is clearly making money, like we said. So I don't, maybe they just don't care. I just feel like unless they're vague enough, like if, if it's not completely legal, like they could really put their foot in the mouth, you know, if, if other people try to do stuff as well. I think it would be different if it were, so everyone acknowledges, all these companies acknowledge that this is Lego, right? They're yes. not, but they're also saying that this isn't a part of the Lego group. This is a complete customization, whatever legal majumbo that they put on the very bottom of every packaging. They acknowledge it, but they also say that it's Lego. It's not, they're getting the Lego product and saying that it's another thing completely like whatever block when it, when it's an actual Lego brick, you know what I mean? I think that would be like the, the, the problem there mm -hmm. where Lego legal would get, would have a problem with that. Well, so that, that this Lego. 
Well, that brings me into we're almost to the military part, but right before we get to that, that brings me into okay, it's one thing to do clones, you know, from Star Wars or whatever, but you know, we've seen and again, I love them. I love the stuff they make, man. But we've seen all kinds of minifigs, custom minifigs that have come out that Lego clearly probably would not approve of from different of movies to gangs to, you know what I mean? Like conquerors and, you know, so, you know, it, it's like, okay, that almost kind of falls in the line of the military stuff. And again, that's why I really wanted to talk to you because I felt like you, like, with the exception of talking probably to somebody literally like Brickmania or somebody would be the best person to talk about this with. House come Lego, let's, and it's not just Brickmania. There's obviously different other companies, but how come they let them make these military sets if they're so against the military? I don't think they're so against it because <laughs> obviously their designers have attempted to make military Lego sets in disguise nah, and other things. I, I know, think, but you know what I'm getting at, though. Yeah, yeah I mean, of course. I, th I think they're, you know, a lot of the designers are actually, you know, they do Lego builds, like military builds. Sorry, mm. they do Lego military custom builds, like on mm. the side, and they'll never make it a set, but they do genuinely love it. It's, you know, they, they're going off of the rule where, you know, sorry, they're going off of the rule of like not doing Lego military, all that kind of stuff. So if enough of them respect that, the, respect the custom world, because a lot of them do, especially when it comes to creativity and stuff like that. It's kind of hard to like throw down. I think of it, think of it like this. If they were to like stamp, like stamp down on the Lego military side, how much of that would be a problem for them, right? Because then now- There would be a huge backlash. There would be a huge backlash. Even, even non-military collectors would yeah. be- It'll be like, cause, cause then like, where's the line draw? Then like, think like companies like Citizen Brick, companies like Eclipse Graphics. Who That's where I things. think the domino thing would fall. Going. So then it, it's like and no one can customize anything lego it's, it's just too much of a legal battle too much of a it's too much work pr wise that it's just not worth it for them and the thing is like a lot of their like designers that you know that are over there in billing they have citizen brick minifigures mm -hmm. on their desks yeah i i yeah i agree and yeah i guess in a nutshell again i feel like i feel like in a way like and correct me if I'm wrong, obviously, I don't, and I'm paraphrasing, but like you, you basically, in a sense, you think that Lego just doesn't really care as long as you don't step too far out of line with something, you know? Like yeah. if somebody made a Lego strip club, for instance, <laughs> and seriously mass produced those things and it blew up and they got just too big, I'm sure Lego would probably- Yeah, yeah Lego would probably have a problem with that. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I would see them trying to shut it down and all kind of stuff. So, you know, with, with sets like that are questionable, right especially because it's their product that's being made to something that might be entirely inappropriate mm -hmm. uh and other companies have mimicked other type of themes in a way that are like what <laughs> this is not not something that it would be for like a child's play toy like for All example right. when like companies like citizen brick or them do things of breaking bad right they have yeah. minifigures making meth and drugs <laughs> right. and stuff like that. but everybody loves breaking bad so it's like they're very limited very they're like almost to the point not only are they limited but usually they sell out so fast that you know yeah. um and which is a whole nother debate but then you know a lot of the companies you know uh like the ones we love they make things that aren't even technically lego like you know our storage containers that we love so much you know mm -hmm. like those aren't technically lego like i said that's a whole nother but, discussion, so but. So with the with the whole rule going back to the rule with mm -hmm. uh, you know no no logos all that kind of stuff I right. think it's also just a weapon they just want to show everybody because for example if a company like Brickmania were to make a Hitler minifigure they can come down and swing it and be like no that is not happening so like Brickmania doesn't make figures like that of named characters that are questionable in, in our history let alone make a swastika piece yeah. on any of their in any of their sets but i i i you know and and now that i really kind of look at it and that we've talked about it a little bit i actually like it that lego doesn't honestly and then we have companies like brickmania yeah. and and other companies as well not and not just military but these other companies that can do these custom things that we wouldn't get if if we didn't have them um yeah. so i think really too is this has also made me realize that let's say i wanted to make you know uh, a sig fig of my own with my company logo you know the b or if i wanted to make one from a bo or boy rich you know a brick scene or something i think you know if we made them even if we sold some you know what i mean like it wouldn't be a big deal it would only be like we started selling them into the, the thousands and thousands you know to where they're really becoming noticeable that lego's like hmm. that or you get in lego's bad side 
Yeah, I, know, I, like I feel like if they're ever paying you attention did. to me, I'm sort of probably yeah. all no, 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 That's the truth. It's, I feel the, the whole rule with the whole thing. I don't think they are trying to really enforce it. I mean, the moment, the times that they did, it's like, why, why them? If anything, like, if you're really going to enforce it, why don't you hit Citizen Brick, Eclipse Graphics, any of the big mm. boys? Why are you hitting these little no-name companies that mean nothing? They're yeah. just making something for a convention. Like that's what question. Well, that's what I question. I'm like, okay, so you're you're enforcing the rule on people that really have no. Or they're making they're making no money on this. Right, right. we are not willing to hit up any of the big guys who you are also profiting from. You know what I mean? So technically, you're you're doing you know you're you're fulfilling your your obligation to the trademark. So I feel like it's really just a weapon for them to have in case they want to use it on anyone out there. So if you're on the bad side of Lego, they're mm -hmm. going to use it on you. So that's that's ultimately me what i think it is it's, it's just if they want to use it they'll use it and they have to show that they have that weapon because they don't want it to get out of control well shy i really appreciate you um letting me interview you man appreciate your opinions and insight on things i i knew i knew you would give me some good uh insight and opinions so. all right appreciate all of you guys watching be careful out there peace